I saw your tweet. You said I'm fighting him on site. Eric, your thoughts on this whole Drake curse? Yeah, man, you know, I don't think there's a bigger bandwagon fan out there than Drake himself, you know. Uh, and I don't know what it is, but it just seems like everything he touches, with the exception of Max Holloway, uh, you know, just everything seems to come to a sudden halt and just crash and explode. So, you know, he it's okay for him to wear a Tennessee and a Notre Dame uh, gear, but never again is he allowed to wear a Bama. When you said that you, you'll fight him on site, I, I assume that's just a joke because I don't think that fight would go too too well. Yeah, well, I'm not looking to catch an assault charge, and I seriously doubt he's looking to catch, step in the octagon. So, yeah, it's all fun and games. It was just a joke, but, uh, you know, I, I really do got some heat for Drake right now. That UFC 235 card in March is, is looking like a huge one. Maybe you can get you can get Drake on that card. Yeah, man, if he signs a contract, I'm there, as long as it's 80, 180 middleweight and above. Because, uh, well, man, y'all know, man, for the amount of money I think I'll make to fight Drake, I think I could get down to 70. So, but we'll see. Last one for you. If if Drake is watching this, Eric, what would you say to him today? Hey, don't cheer for Bama ever again. Like I said, Notre Dame and Tennessee is cool, but never again, Bama.